Well, the highlight in overnight trading was obviously silver's flash crash when the metal dropped 10% in minutes. So was it someone spoofing the market or was it simply what they're telling us, a glitch? Joining us now is Vince Lancy, the founder of Echo Bay Partners and a contributor to Marketslat.com. Vince, I could not think of anyone better to bring on today than you to talk about this flash crash. I know uh, you definitely have some insights here. Well, you know, first, what's your take on what happened? Thanks for having me first. Um, and look at that dip. I'm showing the chart right now. What's your take? Um, it, it's actually, it, it, this is what we know based on what the CME has said that there was a quote glitch, although no description of that glitch has been let out. Um, they have since lowered the low from I think 1434 to in the 1550 area in September. Here's what, based on that's what we know, here's what is likely to have happened. First of all, let's take them at their word, there was a glitch. When you have algorithms that like to trade during thinly traded markets, because because that's where the stops rest on books, and at the same time there's less continuous order flow, they start fishing. Now, when you have three or four big major algorithms that find a stop, they start competing with each other, and they snowball lower, and their technology is basically selling in front of each other, buying from each other, so you get this negative snowball effect lower. And, and what ends up happening is, and this is where your glitch comes in, one possible, I would say probable explanation of your glitch is that when you have an algorithm selling so fast that the order book of an exchange cannot keep refreshing its order order standing order rate, you end up getting markets that trade 1434 when the exchange hasn't even gotten a chance to put in its 1462 bid by Joe Smith. Right. The result is you call it a glitch. And what it is, is it's an arms race. And the algorithms are now predatory in an exchange sense. Right. The so, markets are breaking. Now, let's, yeah, let's bring it down to, to if, you know, just plain, plain and simple here, Vince. Offline, when we were speaking, you were, I sensed you were, you were angry as to what happened. Yes. Um, there, there, there's, there's definitely some anger there. <clears throat> the, the, the exchanges, and, and this is, this is n by no means an attack on the CMA. The CME is doing everything they can to uh, uh, mitigate a situation that they really is, that is just really out of control. If you look at it like this, uh, a marketplace where high frequency trading is allowed to be used to predate or be predatory on origin customer business, those are the sheep, uh, the predator algorithms are the wolves, and the exchange or the regulators are the shepherds or sheepdogs. Now, I don't see the shepherds and sheepdogs preemptively or preventing these things, but reacting to them. And we know these things exist, and we know they're out there, and it's killing the markets. So to make it very simple, what you have is where I used to be an algorithmic trader as a market maker, I would be run through. Uh, so the market would trade four, let's say we trade 12 silver, right? Silver trades 1610 and I'm filled on a 60 delta call, but my futures hedge is done at 1602. And that's because my competitor had a faster computer. Well, now those computers are faster possibly than the actual exchange. So the exchange has allowed an infection inside of it, in my opinion, All right. and All right. it's war. And I see it as war. Okay. Is silver a buy now, Vince? Um, if you're over 85 and you're buying silver for a retirement, no. Is silver a buy to uh, invest in? Absolutely. Uh, I've bought some and I'll be buying some more soon. What's happening now, and this is a, off the topic, but it's related, you're seeing less speculative and fun trading in silver because you're getting comp competition with the crypto coins. As they say, sideways in silver is bearish. And so uh, you're losing your uh, smaller day trader type of markets. So don't, don't count on a bounce uh, until- so, uh, so the young every, kids are choosing crypto currencies over silver? Is that yeah, it? They, they even, yeah, they even have a name for it. They're calling it 
the flippening. They'll buy Bitcoin until something new and hot comes out, and then they buy that. So wow, we'll call I, I've never heard of that. <laughs> they Thank call it the flippening. Okay. It's like, and, and, and it's like 1999 all over again. The, the crypto concept is valid. The business model is valid. The, the stocks are being traded by, you know, uh, momentum kids uh, that don't get enough volatility in silver. They're junkies and they're they're going to a lot of them are going to, you know, die a horrible death. All right. Vince Lancy, thanks so much for joining us to talk the silver flash crash. Thank you, Daniela. And thanks for watching this edition of Kiko's Silver Report. We'll see you next week.